Hey everybody, Silver here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy, the Swiss Army run, where we are playing as all Red Mages, or in this case, Red Wizards, because we went through that uh, ritual a while back. So we're starting off the Flying Fortress, the wind dungeon of the game, and uh, hopefully the last one we have to deal with before we get ready for the end game. So. Uh, as you would expect from a wind dungeon, there are a lot of, um, wind elemental enemies, and, yeah! Earth Medusa. What? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. Why were these enemies not in the Earth dungeon? Because, for one, Earth, I do, uh, Medusa, I do not see being attributed to... The wind element. And second, it's in the name Earth Medusa. It should have been in the Earth Dungeon. Whatever. Uh. Razor. Where's T Bone? I highly doubt anybody remembers SWAT Cats. A saber that casts Scourge when used. Ooh. Keeping that. Uh, Vorpal. Yeah. Might have to abuse save states for that one, but... Uh, screw that. Speed up. Oh! I'm gonna have to heal up. Okay. Uh, items here. Do do do. All right, let's get moving. Oh come on! Ooh, evil eye. I think he only drops one gold though. Oh, he drops a crap ton of gold. If I remember right, it's the evil eye that has the uh, insta-kill move, so... Oh. There we go. Ah! Spirit Naga. Not gonna deal with your shit. That pun was terrible, I apologize. Another healing helm. 6,720. That's not bad. Ooh, protect ring. And 5,000. Uh, let's see. He's got a protect ring. 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 Oh, jeez. I didn't need to buy all those protect rings. Oh, well. Definitely getting a lot of gold here. Jeez, we're coming up on half a million. More Black Knights. I, I, I see Black Knight, and I can never not think of the Monty Python version. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off! No, it isn't. Then what's that? I've had worse. Alright, over here. If... Ooh, evil eye. I wish they showed up in more than just one at a time, so that way you get, like, a shit ton of money. Uh, let's see. There we go. We're definitely getting a lot of levels. I'm not gonna lie, going through the, um, the water dungeon, the sunken shrine, I was afraid I was gonna be over-leveled. Let's see, we got a potion, we got 9,900, 4,150, 7,900. Jeez. Yeah, this is the dungeon where you get, like, a shit ton of gold real fast. 
So if you ever need to grind for money, this is the place. Ooh, preemptive strike. I always do like getting preemptive strikes. All right. Uh, now we head north. Kill these guys. And we're here on floor two. This floor, if I remember right, is in the shape of an eight-pointed star. So, we have both the diagonal directions and the cardinal directions to look at. Assuming everything will let us. Here we are. Cottage. An Earth Medusa that has no reason to be here. And a Mithril Helm. Hmm. Nice. Uh, let's get up here. Uh, ambushed by Manticores. Who surprisingly have a pretty low hit rate, apparently. Diamond Gloves. Ooh. Can I equip that? Wait, where did I get the Deathbringer? Huh. I must have gotten it as a drop from one of the fights. Alright. Alright, let's see. Uh, can I equip... Nope, I cannot. That seems to be a strictly... Uh, warrior move. Or warrior piece of equipment. Bummer. Alright, over here. Do. Diamond shield. And a ribbon. Alright. Actually... Config. Bestiary. Alright. Yeah, this is a feature that they only have in the remakes for both the um, PS1 and the GBA versions. And whatever other system that the remakes were on. Uh, let's see. Basically, it's an index of all the monsters you fought and beaten. Uh, let's see. Chimera. Oh! Uh, I got it from the Black Knights. Hmm, that explains it. Must have been a lucky drop. Uh, yeah, the treasure that it marks at the bottom of this particular window. The other one lists weakness and resistances. But, uh, the initial window right here, below treasure, that's the item that it has a chance to drop. And I don't know the chances of it dropping, but... I assume it's probably something like 15, 20, 25 percent on average. So, there we go. There's that for you. One step. Fuck it! Uh, anyway. Fuck off the Earth Medusas, you don't have any business here. Uh, let's... Uh, Rosa, Rosa. Alright, over this way. To this room. Alright. 880. Even if they do cast stone on me, I've got a shit ton of remedies and I think I have uh, gold needles as well. 13,000! So, I think, yep, we are over the half a million mark. There's a lot of good. Alright. Jeez. Let's see the room over here. Ooh! This is a good item. We got the adamantite. We're going to have to take those to the dwarves later. Because if you might remember, there was a dwarf named Smith, the Smith, 
who said something about if he could get his hands on some adamantite, he could craft the ultimate sword. Or, you know, Wolverine's Claws. Oh wait, that's adamantium. That's different. Yep. A black robe and a white robe. Uh, equipment optimal. I uh, let's see. Ribbon that wards off special attacks. Hmm. Let's see about those. Uh, equip. Got a couple of ribbons here. Right. Uh. We're actually looking pretty good here. Alright. Speed up. Diddly do do do, diddly do do do. Ah, come on. Let me move on. All right. Hello. What's this? And who are you? What are you doing here? You are a chimera. Fuck off. From this observation window, you can look out on the entire world. Well, let's take a look then. The observation window looks out upon the world. The four forces of fire, earth, water, and wind appear as a mist converging on a single point. A point at the center of the four altars. This must be the location of the Chaos Shrine. And here we see the entire world and... Hang on, that location looks familiar. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I think there's ah more manticores. That's where that's what I think there is. Uh, Crimson's getting low on health, so I better heal up. Oh, we got a tent from that. Sweet. Uh, boop. Boop. Uh, ha ha ha. Boop. All right. Ah! Soldier! Alright. Ooh, lots of treasure chests. Protect cloak. 8135, 9500. Clothes. Wait. Clothes. Ugh. That's just dickish. 6400 gil. And a gold needle. Ooh. Alright, let's see. Uh, protect cloak. Ah, there we go. Do 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 do. Come on, let me move. Let me keep going. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. I think over here there's a. Yep, there's a warp panel and a room. Guardian and a soldier. If I remember right, in the original version, the soldiers are just called sentries. Gold needle. 4150. 3400. Sasuke's blade. Obtained from the chest. Hmm. Must be a gift from Boruto's dad. Of course I get attacked by manticores for making that joke. Alright, over here. This room gets pretty freaking huge. Um, I'm trying to remember the trick to this. I think it's something like uh, the room is a bunch of intersections and if you go, I think, five right, two up? Neo Chew, what are you guys doing here?
Anyway. Uh, two, three. Oh! Never mind. Wait. Oh, that was dirty. Okay. Let's try going up first. One. Whoa! That's a lot of mind flyers. Okay. Um. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Thundaga? Spam Thundaga? Nope, nope. Well, Frontera would probably help. Uh, Thundaga and Invisira. Clay Gold is definitely out. No? <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. There we go. Uh, let's see. All right, let's uh, now go right. Is this it? Yep, there we go. Oh, this floor. Yeah. Okay, I believe this is the last floor, but also, um, I did not know this my first playthrough this game. Uh, my first uh, let's play through this game. There is a secret boss on this floor. You want to make sure that you save. Uh, if I remember right, this boss has a 3 in 64 chance of showing up. Which means he's probably going to show up here. Nope. Okay. But uh, he is especially dangerous. Because uh, it's something like nine times out of ten, it gets a preemptive strike on your ass. And on top of that, it has a special move that targets your entire party. And after two turns of using that move, at least at the level I'm at, we'll just completely wipe it out. Uh, let's get some... High potions here. High potion it up. It does not look like the RNG is cooperating to show this to me, though. Eh, you know what? Save states just in case. Black Flan. Nope. Oh, that's right. These guys are weak to magic attacks, aren't they? Ah, screw it. Let's run. There we go. Dark Fighter? That's not it. That's not it, but, uh... We're getting a preemptive strike, so... I'll take it. Before I fight the boss of this dungeon, I want to at least encounter this super boss. The secret super boss. I think it shows up in the later part of this section. Oh man. Uh, these guys. Maybe I should come back in another time to, uh, to fight him, because yeah, it is using up a bunch of time. There it is! This thing! Oh, God. Uh, okay. Um, huh. Let's see, uh... I gotta plan this very carefully. Okay, uh, Kiraga. 
on everyone. Because... Chances are he's going to be super fast and he's going to hit everybody. So, I got to plan accordingly. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Still, hits like a truck. Oh, and he recovers 100 health. I did not notice that. Okay, um... Kiraga on red. Let's have, uh... Scarlet use Proterra. Let's have Crimson, uh, cast Thundaga. And let's have Ruby cast Invisera. Ow. That did not do anything. All right. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay. Uh, screw it. Let's try having you attack. Let's try you curing yourself. Uh, you attack and. Yeah, you attack, and let's have you cast haste. Ow! Alright. Uh, magic, cast haste. Uh, cast Hiraga. And have you cast haste on Crimson. Oh fuck! Here it is! That's the one! And of course, Ruby dies after I've set Kuraga to heal him. Okay. This is not gonna go well. Um Kuraga. And Kiraga on him. There! Ah! Uh, third freaking double tap! <laughs> I'm gonna be coming back to this boss at a later time. For now, uh, load state. Alright. Let's, uh. Get some. Safe states here. The Lich, Marilith, the Kraken. You have defeated three fiends and reached my lofty perch. More the better. May the image of Tiamat, the fiend of wind, be the last to burn in your eyes. So now we're fighting Tiamat, who is a freaking six-headed dragon. Uh, if I remember right, this is based on D&D's interpretation of Tiamat, not the original Tiamat depicted in Babylonian legend. Anyway. Uh, let's get some Proterra here. Uh, let's see. If we can get some saber. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. A hammer. Let's use up some of our items so that we can uh, save on MP. Invisira. All right. 
That didn't do too much. Good thing I cast that Proterra. Alright, Saber. So his attack should be boosted dramatically. Alright, let's see. Uh... <laughs> I'll have him use Giant's Gloves as well. I'll have him attack. Uh... <laughs> Razor? Do -do -do. Uh, Fyraga. Burn, bitch! 94. Poison gas! Oh boy, that's bad. That's not too bad. Razor. Eh, that didn't work. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let's try it. Let's all go Razor. Nope. Uh, never mind. Razor's already being used. Okay! Um... <laughs> Screw it. Uh... Let's... Let's use some magic. Let's cast Kuraga on Ruby, because he's hurting, especially. And let's also use Kuraga on Crimson. Uh... Giant's gloves. Oh, jeez! Ruby's dead. Ruby and Crimson are dead. And of course they die after I'm secure. <sighs> Alright. I have a feeling this is not gonna end well. Uh, Razor. I... Uh, life. No, no, no. Now you use the razor. Ow. Uh, really no luck with the razor. Um. I gotta do it. Elixir for Crimson. Uh. Gonna try Razor again. And uh, let's have him use a Phoenix down on Ruby. Sweet. All right, items. Uh, there's the X potion. Okay. Use it on Ruby. Uh, magic. Proterra. Kuraga. And... Uh, Razor. As long as he doesn't hit... You've got to be fucking kidding me. I just wasted an X-Potion. I fucking hate when they do that. Alright, uh... Razor. Life. Uh, <laughs> haste? I'm getting really lucky with the fact that, you know, when I have to resurrect someone, timeout only targets single person. Uh, let's try that. Uh, magic. Actually, 
I did not get refunded my, um... Okay. Items, uh... Yeah! Kiraga on Ruby. Uh... And Kiraga on Ruby. Bye! I really hate when they do that. Screw that. Uh... Red, you're on attack duty. Uh, Crimson, you're on support. This is really not gonna end well. Oh. Uh, magic. Have him Kiraga himself. He dead. Oh no, he's he's a he's still alive. He's still alive. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Uh one more just to be sure. We can do this. We can do this. I think another couple of rounds should be good. We go! Ho 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 ho! Skin of our teeth! Ugh. Jeez. Man! I was getting really worried there. And now we've brought light to the final crystal. We did it! And we also open up Whisperwind Cove. And Red's the only one still alive. Alright. I'm probably gonna save fighting that super boss another day. Until then, what say we head out? Alright, I think I'm gonna revive everybody. And we're gonna use a cottage. Now everybody's healed up. And I think that's where we're gonna call it. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying the series. And I shall see you again next time. Until then, this is Silver, telling you to stay Silver.